time no see. Wow. It's been so long and there's so many changes that have happened over the past few months. I've totally been out of YouTube. I've been just sitting back and watching the fireworks go. Because we had Logan Paul's little incident, we'll call it, in Japan. And that just kind of set off a fireball for all of us vloggers. And it, no one really knew what was happening, really. Um, YouTube made some changes to how they pay us and everything. And it, it's, it's been interesting. We'll, we'll put it that way. Okay, we'll put it that way. It's been interesting. But anyways, uh, big news. Very big news. As you can see, I am in a garage now. Farm didn't have a garage. Remember, we were working in just a, a, a spot between a fence and a shed. It was grassy, and a horse was there. Was horses there, and they would continually come by and bump my mirrors and shove them in. So I get in the truck, look at my mirrors, and that one's in, that one's in. Oh crap! Now I got to go out and boop, and boop, and then get back in. That one's off. I'm going, boop. but. Hey, now we're in a garage. You know, my buddy Derek, he's uh, one of the parts guys at Westlock Power Sports and Marine. He said, hey, I got this huge space for you if you want it. I was like, yep, let's take it. Okay, we're good to go. So we've uh, moved to Clyde, Alberta. And uh, in other big news as well, I guess I should clear this up. Um, we're, we're doing a little bit of rebranding for the channel. Like, well, we have to do a little bit of rebranding for the channel because um, I don't have the focus anymore. Yeah, I sold the focus. Well, I didn't sell it. I traded it in. I traded it in um, because of the powertrain issues. Check out these photos. Yes, yes, I know. I bought a Subaru. A Subaru Impreza. Now, this one here was a demo unit. Um, from one of the managers, I believe. I, I bought it with only 1,900 kilometers on it, which is it's, it's still a brand new car in my book. 1,900 kilometers, that's nothing. Um, it's, it's a great car. It's manual, so millennial anti-theft, as, uh, as some of us are putting it now these days. Anyways, so, hood's open, truck's dirty. Um, what's going on? Well, let's go over to the engine bay and I'll show you. Come on. Let's just go over here. Uh, stuff everywhere, still unpacking and everything. So stuff's just everywhere. So I got a little light here and let me show you what, if you can see what's going on here. So, okay. So that little thing there, we replaced the radiator, as you can see, brand new radiator. Cause the other one literally crumbled in my hands. So we replaced the radiator and there's that little thing there. Well, it was spewing ATF, automatic transmission fluid. It was getting harder and harder to shift the truck. That's why I got that little bin down there, if you can see that. So we replaced that and it was, it was spewing ATF. So I had my buddy, uh, Brandon, come over the other night and we hooked it back up and all that fun stuff. And we also adjusted the timing a little bit with the truck too. Played with the timing a little bit last night with uh, Derek's timing light. Learned how to do that because I didn't know how to do it. Don't hate. Don't hate. I just didn't know how to do it. I've never done it before. This is what this truck is all about, is learning how to do all this stuff for me and for you too. And we figured out why I was having a little bit of an idling issue because it was just, it wouldn't go. It, you let off the throttle at idle and just boop, 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 boop. It died. So we hooked the hose back up because for some reason that wasn't hooked back up after we reconnected everything. And then we also adjusted the idle because it was running a stupid high idle. And um, yes, yeah, so we turned down the idle a little bit, played with that a little bit, had to turn it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, there's big plans for this truck, big plans for this truck coming up this winter and you're going to be witnessing all of it. And any work we do to the Subaru, you're also going to be witnessing all of it. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's open the garage door so we don't suffocate ourselves and, uh, well, poison ourselves, whatever, suffocate poison. And let's fire it up and I'll let you listen to it. 
I'll let you listen to it. I don't know how good the audio is going to be because I still have to finish the exhaust. And by the way, we're going to be doing weekly vlogs now because it's just easier, you know. Daily vlogs are great if it's your full-time thing. Weekly vlogs are great if you have another job and you're just looking for something, you know, fun to do. I like filming. I like being with you guys. So we're going to do this thing as a weekly thing. And uh, we also got to kind of reinvent ourselves because we don't have the focus anymore. So we can't be flat out focused because there's no focus. So we got to think of something else. But I'll think of it. Chances are, I've thought of it while you're watching this video. Because it will already be changed. All right, let's fire it up. Here we go. Now it's an old truck, so sometimes it takes a little bit of pumping to get going. All right, so that's just the fastened seatbelt buzzer you hear in there. Okay, so we're running all right. All right being the key word. Let's just go out and check it out here. So, we're running okay, let's go check. Now the engine is running high, that's because it's on a high choke, the choke is out. So, now what we gotta do is we gotta go back in the truck and you'll listen. I'll, I'll use the microphone on top of the camera, you'll, you'll listen and you'll hear the truck just go right down, so it's nice and smooth. So give me one moment here. So now they can actually probably hear me over the engine. Let's uh, let this run a little bit here, and then we'll get started with our transmission check. So let it run just a little bit here. Okay. Now let's just check. Where did I put my cloth? Now there's a good question. Where did I put that cloth? Right there. You can see it, but I can't. Okay. So now, uh, you won't be able to see this really good on camera, but I'll just explain what is happening here. So right now, I'm just going to go in and make sure anytime you're working around the engine and the engine is on, be careful. You want you don't want to get your finger caught in the belts. You don't want to get definitely don't want to get caught in the fan. That just spells disaster. Let's face it. Okay. So let's pull our dipstick out. Hey. Whoops. All right, so first thing you do is wipe it off. Get nice and clean, no caffeine. And the reason you want to do this while your truck is running is because it's cycling. Because it all settles, right? When you don't have your vehicle running, it all settles. And you don't want it to settle because then that doesn't give you an accurate read. But when your truck is running, it's cycling through. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm not even getting... I'm not getting a hint of anything. Oh, you poor thing. I'm not getting a hint of anything. Let me hear this. So that means we are... Stupid old. Ah! Yeah, no, there's, this is dry as a bone. Okay, so we definitely need some ATF in there. Uh, we might even have to run into town and grab more. So with this out, and you want to keep this clean, you want to keep this stick clean. Put it somewhere where it's going to keep clean. Preferably not on your battery, because the moment you go touch that, whoop, zip, zip, zip. So, let's stick in our handy dandy funnel. Hello funnel, in you go. Thank you. So now there's a sign that goes crack. Let that sit there for a second. Crack open our good old AC Delco Dextron 6 ATF fluid. That reeks. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's glug, 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 glug. Drink up, dear truck. Drink up. Now you don't want to add too much of this stuff. But in this case, I do believe we are like plum empty. So I'm gonna dump in the whole thing. 
which is probably bad. I'm probably going to get a few comments below saying, hey, don't dump in the whole thing. Well, too bad, because guess what? I just did. And just toss it aside because it's empty. If it was still had fluid in it, obviously you wouldn't want to do that. And just give you your final few shakes. Make sure it's all down. Because if you take this for a low test drive and it starts smoking, either you're going to get scared or something else. The unspeakable. The unspeakable because you don't want to speak of it. Make sure it's all down. She's got a little bit of a knock, that's okay. We'll fix that this winter. Okay, let's set a funnel there. If it wants to stay there, please stay there. I'm telling you to stay there. No, don't dump in there. Stay there. Okay. Stay here. All right. So now let's clean our dipstick off again. Clean dipstick is a happy dipstick. No, it isn't. Just kidding. Clean dipstick is not a happy dipstick. Clean dipstick means you should not drive your vehicle because you will screw up your transmission. Very badly. All right, let's see, what are we at? Add more, yeah, we gotta go to town because we are, so at the end of this dipstick, let me explain what's going on. Actually, I can come over. At the end of this dipstick, it says add. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't. Just turn you on to manual focus. Get that close. No. All right, so fluid is literally right where it says add. That is not good. So we got to go to town because it should be up to. Uh, full should be up to there we're all the way down here so we got to go to town and get some more fluid alrighty so now that we have our two more bottles of AC Delco Dextron 6 some pop the hood we'll add some in and uh, see how that goes let's do it see what I'm doing to this when I pull it out but when I pull it out I immediately just tip it up like that so it doesn't spill any so there we are nice clean dipstick schmooker in the back that is so and there's the line. Ah, 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 we are full. Right there. Boink. Right on the full line. Alrighty, so no leaks on the truck. Well, no automatic transmission fluid leaks, at least. She's all healthy and ready to go. Running decently good. Let's open up the garage door back her out and uh, we'll give her a little bath and some TLC.
And just like that, through a little bit of movie magic, she's pretty much all clean. So I think uh, Monday morning I'll take it into work and give it the finer touch. Uh, maybe give her a finer, final touch closer to the car show on Saturday, but I'll take her to work, give her a good solid polishing that she deserves. Um, Derek tried some polishing here. He kind of screwed up the paint, but oh well. It's going to get repainted at some point anyways, because let's face it, I did a pretty bad job on the hood. But anyways, this is the truck all somewhat nice and clean. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to start to become kind of a weekly thing. So every weekend I'll film. I got lots of stuff happening on the weekends. There's never really a dull weekend in my life. So definitely going to start doing more of the truck, more of the Subaru. We got to do a little bit of rebranding, but hey, that's totally fine. And uh, yeah, it's going to become a weekly thing. Going to get right back into it. Uh, we're going to have some Patreon coming soon. Uh, merch. Uh, got to reorganize that. So everything's going to start to come back to life and definitely going to turn this into something truly amazing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Tim Evans. Have fun. Get her done.